Hi, my name is Elizabeth Seeger. I graduated from SCAD the class of 2005 with a degree in fashion design and a minor in accessory design. And I am currently the owner of Satchel Handbags and Leather Goods on Liberty Street. We've been in business for 15 years and I'm also the co-owner of Port City Sewing Factory. Satchel is a leather handbag company, so we make our own leather goods. Everything is designed and made. It used to be here in the shop, but we have outgrown this space, and we now have a separate sister company, Port City Sewing Factory, which is our main production company about a mile away. I really enjoyed my experience at SCAD. It was great. I think you have to actively use the resources they give you. I think there are a lot of them, but if you don't take advantage of them, you know, that's up to you. But I really enjoyed my time at SCAD. I studied fashion design and handbag design was not a thing at the time. The accessory major at SCAD, um, it was only a minor and it was in its very first year. So it was sort of a hodgepodge of classes. And uh, handbags was a class and my mom also sewed. She did slip covers for furniture, so I grew up around a lot of fabric, a lot of really nice and heavy fabric. So she would always send me her scraps. And in college, I made bags for some of my friends. And I liked making bags because it doesn't have to fit like clothing. You know, it's sort of a one size fits all. So it was pretty easy and um, it could whip one up and go out. And I actually went into the mansion on Forsyth Park one day my senior year to have lunch with a friend and browse through their boutique and the manager stopped me and she said oh my goodness I love your bag and I said thank you I made it and she said do you would you do you sell them anywhere and we would love to carry some can I see some more designs and at this point they were not leather they were just upholstery fabric and I was like wow maybe this could be viable maybe I could actually do this as a business I think it's a really rewarding business to be able to make something with your hands you know at the end of the day you've actually created something and I think it gives everybody a sense of pride and ownership and I love seeing everyone enjoy their jobs and do them well and we build this together um, you know I chose to do something in my field what I really loved about fashion design was that it was hands-on and it honed your skills um, like I said, they didn't really teach handbags at the time, but the foundations were there to then go and use those skills in something else that I wanted to do. They were very supportive in that way, and they are supportive of my business currently as far as, you know, buying presents for guests that come into town or doing some corporate gifting or things like that. A typical day as a business owner 15 years in is a lot of running around. I feel like I'm the mom of my companies and just making sure everybody has what they need so that they can do their job well. I do a lot of administrative things. Um, I do payroll, I run the errands, I you know answer emails and do interviews like this. Um, it's also a lot of community networking and um, you know, helping to promote the business on a bigger level. I would say really think out your supply chain. Like if you're selling a product, you know, if you're starting a business, you're generally selling something, either a service or a product. And have a good business plan and a lot of, I don't wanna say resources and financially, like make sure you have your financial basis covered, but also like people that you can turn to. You know, I spoke with a student at one point and she wanted to start a fashion company and she had the design and all the funding and the retail, but she was missing. And I said, well, where are you gonna get your product made? And she goes, I don't know, but I'll figure that out. And I was like, that's a really big piece of the puzzle to be missing. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to be able to see the whole picture, but you have to have the really big bullet points of the picture in there. But also the fun part of being a business owner is sort of figuring it out as you go along. You know, there a lot of what you do as a business owner is you think your day is gonna go one way, but things just come up, especially when you're dealing, you know, with retail and customer service. It's kind of like you constantly have to be prepared to put out fires and pivot and you know, change your viewpoint on something given what's just been handed to you. Even if you are a successful business, it doesn't always mean that money just flows. You learn to put out fires. Sometimes it's three steps forwards, two steps backwards. Um, you still have to be your own advocate and 
figure the things out find your own resources like keep learning on your own because nobody is there to tell you how to do it so as a small business owner running your own business there's no boss there's no you know what I mean there's not parameters to work into and so when you started at 23 years old you really have to advocate for yourself but you don't know what you don't know so I would say find mentors and find people to look up to and people in your industry that are three, five, ten years ahead of you and make friends and just ask all of the questions because those will be your biggest allies.